been a sellout event, so that's good. No doubt we're all here for this one big common purpose. Um, ABIC is kind of a big deal for a lot of you. Um, we acknowledge it, that it's, a, it's an important product that we produce um, jointly with MBA um, for your benefit. So in many ways, when, when we look at reviewing ABIC, we, we want to keep some of that familiarity um, because it's, it's something that you, you, most of you would uh, use uh, daily, if not regularly. Um, and yet we also look to try and improve it, make things better as we go. This 2018 uh, issue is the first major consolidated update since 2008. Most importantly, most fundamentally for you, there is a key role in ABIC for the architect to play. We say ABIC is the one that um, provides clearest mechanisms for the architect to do what they need to do under a construction project. And that's why you're there. That's why that your client has gone to an architect in the first place. So you can then administer the project and ABIC lets you do that. Um, another key part of when, when we're preparing ABIC contracts, we, um, we're comfortable that it balances the project's risks, the project risks between the parties. On the one hand, the owner, on the other hand, the contractor. And our guiding principles are what's known as the Abrahamson principles. If your contract is clear, comprehensive, and helps you and the other party avoid disputes, we're just gonna get on with the job. That's what we'd rather do, rather than be going back and forth.